I'm Francesca and I'm the president of the Creative Writing Club. I'm Emilio Medina, I'm vice president of the Creative Writing Club. I like flamingos. <laughs> I'm I don't John. want to cut off John, but go ahead. Yeah, sorry, thank you. <laughs> I'm John Branningham, and I'm, I'm an advisor for the Creative Writing Club. And I'm Lloyd Aquino, I'm the other advisor for the Creative Writing Club. Write about whatever moves you, uh, uh, whether it's something that's happened to you, or you know, just something that you see walking down the Miracle Mile, or, or, or whatever, it just it has to move you. Otherwise, it's not going to be poetic. Yeah. And most people will start with their with biographical sorts of things, and I think that's a good idea because that's inherently interesting both to the poet and to, to the reader. Um, especially, uh, we, we, we go into those things, those moments that seem special to us for, for one reason or another. I don't mean like the, the big moments like graduations, but those moments that stick out to us. What, an exercise that we often give people is, okay, let's, let's write about the first time that you were outside, that you can remember being outside. That, 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 that's going to stick out in your mind for whatever reason. It might be the first time you remember is when you were 12 or when you were 3, but there was something interesting that happened at that moment, and that, that's a good thing to use. I've been writing a lot about just interesting people I meet, and not even people that I get to know very well, but just somebody, you know, my barber, uh, or a woman who's walking along the beach, or whatever the, whatever the case may be, it just it sparks an idea for a poem. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a big thing, it's just just in the moment, just... And when you're first starting out, the the, the, the the, the big thing is not to do a good poem, it's to do any poem. Um, and so what starts happening is if you do, do that regularly, everything that you think about is going to be filtered through the, the concept of the poem. So that if you're, you're always doing something, if you're always writing, okay, your first 20 poems are terrible. You know, you do this for 20 days and they're terrible. But then suddenly you're walking around and you, you see something and you say, oh, that, that's interesting. There's two dogs fighting. There's um, uh, 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 somebody, somebody's you can see that some guys walking through a grocery store with a knife or something. Say, so, okay, I've got something now. I, and you start thinking about it. You start to, to internalize the process of poetry writing, and it becomes part of who you are. Go to doatrope.com, mm -hmm. which is, is that $5 a year now? $50? I think it's $5 a year. Five, yeah, five, it's, it's not much. I, I, I personally prefer the Small Press Review because the, 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 that's, a, that's a magazine um, that's re really actively looking for people. That's thirty-five dollars a year, I think, um, and they're 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 really magazines starting out trying to find find people. Um, and what you do is you go onto one of these these things and you search for po poems and poets like you, um, and you can really tell you, you've got you've got to really look at the magazine and make sure that you've got the right kind of poems for them. Five thousand magazines out there. How do you know where to go to? Well, Lloyd and I can help you with that. If you come and see see one of the two of us, we can help you publish. And um, it, it's knowing where to send it is is almost as important as writing something really great. Um, you can waste a lot of time sending to the wrong places, and just because the turnover time can be can be really long. Um, you be waiting months just to hear back from uh, from a particular magazine, and that time could have been spent, you know, actually getting it published somewhere else. And yeah. I would love to see it. Yeah, yeah, um, sending to, just sending to the right place. Well, I think your main steps is know people because the only reason why I got published is because of these two guys telling me where to send my work, where my work would be good, and then I would also say I've recently made this mistake if it's an email. Make sure your email sent went through because I just looked in my draft box and saw that some of my submissions didn't go through. So double check everything and talk to the right people and oh, may always make sure someone edits your work before you publish and if someone finds a mistake, send your stuff in and be like, this is a revised version because you're bound to find mistakes. Made that mistake too. <laughs> yeah, I think what the, the largest point she's making is being part of a community and I think that's a, a tremendously important thing to do. Um, and uh, make sure you have a good cover letter. A good cover letter is a business letter. You're, you're now no longer writing poetry, you're, you're engaging in a business uh, agreement. So make sure that you're following business format. You've got one uh, paragraph that, that very briefly summarizes, one paragraph biography. This paragraph biography will be turned into your about the author section. And then just a quick thank you. Never, ever, ever staple your submissions. Uh, no. Use paperclip. Um, make sure your name and address is on each poem, um, and uh, don't, 
don't copyright yourself. Don't copyright yourself. <laughs> oh, uh, they see a copyright, gone. Uh, the, even if you do copyright, don't tell them. Make sure that you have a self-addressed stamped envelope with enough post to just get back to you. If you're doing the snail mail version, uh, if you're doing email, you don't have to worry about that. This is a very great quote from an awesome Canadian. Hmm. They're not rejecting you, they're rejecting your work. Absolutely. So that's from Andrews. Yeah, you, you will have your work rejected a lot. Everybody does. Um, you, can't, you can't allow that to, to affect you psychically in any way. A lot of people will do the thing where they keep all the rejections. That's a terrible idea. It fills your uh, self-negativity. Yeah, just, it, just you're surrounding yourself with negativity. Burn the rejections or throw them away and keep the acceptances. 